Hi, I'm Pavel, software engineer based in Hamburg. Today I will show you how to build a ChatGPT plugin with your custom data. First, I would like to show you what we are building. It is a simple plugin that finds a quote based on search query. Let's find a quote about the rows. or a quote about good or a quote about the thought I think you got an idea. All the code that I'm using is available on GitHub, link in the description. After you've cloned the repository, create an isolated virtual environment, and open readme file. Then install the dependencies, we are depending on the number of packages, including Langchain, Chroma, OpenAI, and TikToken. This is needed for the search. Let's come back to the README. We will need the OpenAI API key. To set this up, we need to create a .env file. You can create it with this command. And we created that .env file from the example. You can paste your API key here. Let's come back to the readme file. In the next step, we are creating embeddings for the data and persisting them in a chroma vector DB. We do this to only pay for embeddings once. Let's look at the data that we are going to use. It is a small CSV file with quote author and language fields. In your plugin, you can use SQL or another data source. Let's go back to the readme. You can see that we are executing this Python file. Let's look what's in there. Here we are creating the data frame and using data frame loader from Langchain. We are using quote as a page content and the rest of the columns are going to metadata. Then we are creating OpenAI embeddings and the Chroma vector store that we are persisting into the directory we specify in the settings. Let's run the debugger and see how documents are constructed. As you can see, we loaded our dataset into documents with page content being the quote and author and language in the metadata. Let's continue the execution. Now you can see that we have created a data directory. It is a chroma persistence directory. Let's go back to readme again. And now we are ready to start the application. It is successful. Let's look at how it's built. Let's take a look at main.py. We are importing create app function. Let's jump to it. In create app, first we are configuring course middleware because it needs to accept requests from ChatGPT. Then we connect well-known router. This is where we configure endpoints required by ChatGPT plugins. In well-known, we are defining AI plugin.json and OpenAI YAML endpoints. There is nothing complicated here. We are returning the dictionary with uh, settings for the ChatGPT plugin system. Let's take a look at settings. 
because we are using them. It is a Pydantic settings that allows us to configure ChatGPT plugin and the rest of our application. Let's go back to create app. As you can see, we are connecting another router. Here we are creating OpenAI embeddings, loading our persisted vector store, defining a base model for a quote, and in the get quote route that accepts query string, we are performing a similarity search and returning a top result as a quote. Let's go back to create app. At last, we are mounting public directory with static files to serve as legal info URL for the plugin, as well as hosting favicon and logo. Now we are ready to test our application. Let's open it. You can see a static page with a link to our open API documentation and we can send the requests to AI plugin JSON. You can see results that you are going to pass to ChatGPT plugin. Also you have an ability to view the open API YAML spec. This is something that will be fed to the ChatGPT plugin as well. And we have a get API quote route where you can specify the query. And get a response back. We have covered all the endpoints. Let's install the plugin. Let's go to GPT-4 and plugin store. Develop your own plugin. Here you have to type localhost port 8000. It validates AI plugin JSON manifest as well as open API spec. Let's click install localhost plugin. Now it is enabled. Let's trigger the plugin by asking for a quote on being lost. Here you can see what was sent to our API and what was returned to the ChatGPT. To summarize, ChatGPT plugins are very powerful tools that allow you to utilize your custom data and logic. I've made this example as lean as possible so you can add your own custom logic. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching until the end.